Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a few of you may remember me saying I would never delete my Intel i7-8700K while the warranty was intact. But I ended up giving in and I bought myself the Bowers D-Lit Dimate 2 and Thermal Grizzly's Conductinol Liquid Metal Thermal Paste. So I'm not going to bother show you the procedure as it's kind of long and I can't be bothered to be honest and a lot of people have already done a better job than me. But um, I will show you the PC I'll be using, which is the Intel i7-8700K Liquid Cooled. Um, got a new SwiftTech water block, it was a bit more high-end than my old block, using the Sapphire RX 580 8GB at the moment. We'll be upgrading to NVIDIA's latest GPU in a few weeks, so look out for those videos when those drop. Using a 360mm RAD, which is about 60 Five uh, millimeters thick so great cooling and I'm about to show you what this thing can do so here I have the CPU with the stock um, thermal paste which Intel provides it's not great everyone knows that Intel i7-8700K overheats like no one's business and obviously the i7-8700K de-lidded with uh, the conductor not um, thermal liquid metal installed so let's see the difference in temps and let's see if it was worth it So there you have it guys, 20 degrees shaved off the maximum temperatures which is pretty insane. So without the D-Lid, 86 degrees was the highest temperature with the D-Lid, 66 degrees so 20 degrees off the max temps which is awesome. So well worth it. I know you're thinking 5.1 gigahertz is common ground so I'm going to show you my max overclock now and the max temps as well. So. Check it out and let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. 